Good morning. This is Jessica Singh and today I am going to teach you how to write enquiry letters. To start with the introduction, first of all since this is an enquiry letter, you will inquire about the services, the goods, the courses or any other product. Since it is a formal letter, therefore you need to be very simple, clear and precise while writing the letter. The content of the letter must be straightforward and up to the mark. You will ask all the details from the company you are writing to. For example, if it is inquiry for goods, let's say. In this letter, you will inquire about the goods. You will be asking or inviting quotations about the same product or good. You will only be asking about the prices and other details such as the transportation cost or the credit facilities or any other discount rates which will be applicable etc. The value points. A fair warning that you will not be placing an order while writing this letter. Why? Because first of all it is an inquiry letter and you will just ask about their terms and conditions and if they suit you then you will write another letter placing an order for the same. Because it is the first time communication between the two parties and you have had no prior contact with the firm etc. So you will only inquire about the products and you will not place an order. Talking about the format, on the very left hand side you will mention the address and city of the firm you are writing from. Leaving a line you will be mentioning the date. Again leaving a line you will be mentioning the reference number. You can cook up a reference number. Then you will be writing the name of the head of the organization, the name of the organization in the next line and then the city. Again leaving a line you will be mentioning the subject which will be inviting quotations for whatever you are going to ask them. Again leaving a line you will mention sir or madam. In the next three paragraphs you will be writing the content and in the end your sincerely and your name which will be given to you in the question itself. Talking about the content now, in the first paragraph you need to introduce yourself and your reputation. For example, you can say we are one of the leading schools in the city and we wish to inquire about your furniture. In the next line you'll mention who recommended their company to you. You'll say Mr. Ram Sharma, principal of XYZ school recommended your furniture houseware to us. In the second paragraph you will tell your requirement and then also state your reason. For example a librarian or a sports teacher can say that you are upgrading your office etc and need new furniture for it or you are upgrading the sports equipment at school and you need new, new requirement for it. Next you will ask for quotation of the prices and a detailed catalogue. In the third paragraph you will be mentioning other details such as you will be asking the terms and conditions of the company, the mode of payment they follow, taxes applicable if any, if they offer credit facilities, the transportation cost, you will mention if the transportation cost will be borne by them or by you. Then ask for a sample. It is not necessary to ask for a sample as sample cannot be asked for all goods. Example for a book you can ask for a sample but not for any other thing like you can ask for a sample for any cloth material. In the end you will ask for discount. You can say also let us know if you have any special discount on bulk purchases. Next fourth paragraph. You will say please let us know if you extend any special discount and credit facilities. If the prices of your goods are reasonable and the quality of goods is fine, we intend to do business with you on a regular basis or you can write 
in case the terms and conditions suit us we wish to do business with you on a regular basis looking forward to a prompt reply or may we hear from you at the earliest then in the ending you'll write yours sincerely or faithfully the name of the person who is writing the letter his designation and the name of the company here i have attached one example for you suppose you are suzy the librarian of dav public school ludhiana you need to inquire about furniture for the library from svb furniture warehouse delhi write a letter asking for the quotations for the same first of all you'll be mentioning the name of the organization which is dav public school ludhiana leaving a line you'll be mentioning the date then you'll be mentioning the reference number moving forward you'll mention the name of the head of the organization then the name of the organization which is svb furniture warehouse city delhi the subject inviting quotations for furniture sir we are one of the leading schools in ludhiana and have over 10 branches in north india first of all i have introduced myself then you'll be mentioning the reason you're writing to them we recently rebuilt our library and thus need new furniture for it then you'll mention who recommended their firm to you your firm is well known for its best quality goods and was recommended to us by the principal of riyan international school ludhiana in the next paragraph shift over to the details we would like to have a detailed catalog for the same from your side we would also like to know the terms and conditions of payment please let us know of the taxes added on it the transportation cost will be borne by us please let us know if you extend any special discount and credit facilities also if the quality of goods is fine and the terms and conditions suit us we would like to do business with you on a long term basis looking forward to your prompt reply then you'll mention yours sincerely in the end name suzy her designation the librarian and then the name of the organization which is dav public school rest we are done with the letters i hope it was clear thank you